Okay, my third video and the last one down here at Majeski Landing. There's the actual dock right there that you kind of load your canoes and your tubes. You want to jump in or you want to fish right here. Uh, it's real small in here. You got to kind of circle around, can't park. You got to park back up over there. Uh, what I want to do with this part is just kind of give you a real super fast overview of how we're going to do this. Okay, normally we'd be in class, you'd have a team of two. I'd have an affirmative team, I'd have a negative team. So it'd be four people total, two affirmative, two negative. Okay, and what would happen is the affirmative would take the case I talked about in video one and video two, and they'd present it to the class. The negative team, not really sure what they're coming with, except that it's with gun control, would try to tear, tear that apart and knock it down and say, that's not the way to do it. Okay, we've got evidence to say that won't work, that won't work, that won't work, that won't work. Okay, they get together, they have a logical argument, try to figure it out the best, and at the end, I kind of vote and see which way we want with that. Okay, so on the affirmative side, you'd have a first affirmative constructive speaker. Okay, the first affirmative constructive speaker would come up and he'd have five, he or she would have five minutes to read the case to the class. I'd have somebody timing, I'm taking my notes on my flow sheet, they'd read through that, and when they got done, the negative could cross X when they're done. The negative has what they call prep time. You have five minutes total for the class period. So if they used one minute getting prepared for the first negative constructive speech, what would happen is real simple. They would have four minutes left for the entire debate. You don't get five minutes in between every time. But in between there, there's a cross X, which is a whole lot of fun. You get to ask questions. So you get three minutes to question that case and try to answer, have questions answered that you better know the answer to. Don't ask a question in debate or in a courthouse if you don't already know the answer. And you try to lead them into that to get them to prove against that. So the first speech is the 1AC, first affirmative constructive. Quick little cross X, they could use some prep time on the negative. The negative comes up in the 1NC, the first negative constructive. And what they're doing, picture this. You build a snow fort with four walls, okay? You build a snow fort with four walls, and in each wall, you got two windows, okay? The first wall has topicality. We're gonna leave that impenetrable, you can't break it. The next side is harm. The two windows are harm A and harm B. The back side is inherency. The two windows are inherency A, inherency B. The last side is solvency, and it's solvency A, solvency B, and you gotta protect your fort. So the negative is throwing snowballs, trying to bust through and hit you with it, okay? And that's what you're doing. You're defending your snow fort. Now, they may only go after your harm A and start whipping 10, 20, 30, 40 snowballs at harm A trying to bust through and pop you with a snowball. So what happens is you get a chance to cross-X them, and then the 2AC, second affirmative constructive, comes up, and it's got to rebuild that wall. It's got to take that snow and rebuild it. That's your evidence. The snowballs are the evidence. Negative through 10 pieces of evidence, you better have 10 pieces to pack that back on. Hopefully 12 to make your wall a little thicker so they can't knock back through that. Okay? So the 1AC comes up, presents the case. They get a three minute that they can come up and basically cross X and ask you any questions that you got to answer honestly. Then the 1NC can come up and it starts figuring out where it's going to attack. Now, you get done and hopefully you got the case right in that five minutes. What happens now is the 2AC comes up and finishes the case if it didn't get fully read, if you didn't get through all the case side, all the plant side, you finish it first. Then you rebuild your snow fort. Wherever they attacked, you better rebuild and counter them. You then have a three minute cross X from the negative team where the negative team can come back right in the 2NC, the second negative constructive, and they're gonna start tearing that snow fort to ground again. But this sets up the parameters for debate. Okay, and that's how it goes. Constructive speeches are five minutes. Cross X's are three minutes, okay? And I'll give you a little bit better one in a different video because I'm trying to keep these short, but this is kind of how the first half of the debate fight goes. Does that make sense? Okay, because you can't ask me any questions right now. Most of you are probably thinking about tubing, kayaking, canoeing, beach time, but I'm loving it out here. I'm gonna try to pick a different spot every time. So, hey, this is debate, end of video three.